Welcome back. Good evening. The curtains are closed. I still did it anyway. And it's half past nine at night. It's dark. It's grey. It's going to start raining. It's still a good evening. Welcome back to Dice and Bolts. This is the uh, return of the series in which I go through the various different role playing games that grace my shelves and give a very quick rundown as to the core dice mechanics behind them. Uh, been a while since I've done one of these videos. Um, different setup, as you can tell. Um, a lot of the games that I've picked up in the last couple of years have been like, or a lot of the books that I've picked up have been add-ons, or they've been like more powered by the Apocalypse games, or they've been more 2D20 games, or Cypher System based games, all of which I've done already. We got to the point I realised this afternoon, oh hang on, I've got a couple of new games and I could, uh, I could do some basic videos for you. Um, I'm going to I have to apologise here and now that the camera is there and the screen that I'm on is there, which is why every so often I'll be looking backwards and forwards. Uh, the first game of the evening, because there's a couple here, is Fabula Ultima from Need Games. So this is the core rulebook and this is the high fantasy atlas. Uh, Needgames.it or fabulaultima.com, available in the UK and I think internationally via Modifius on their website and at other retailers. This is a, as you can see on there, a TTJRPG. So this is a homage and love letter to all of your classic uh, Japanese console role-playing games, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy, Suikoden, all of those things there. Uh, very similar in idea to Megalos, which is one that I've done as well, and it shares a few design things, and it turns out that the authors of this and Megalos kind of didn't work together, but they had that whole convergent evolution thing going on for it. Um, players, it, it is actually generic, okay, um, but you can kind of then customise the fantasy setting to it. So if you want your fantasy with lots of sci-fi in or no sci-fi or lots of magic or not very much magic, if you want to do pastoral fantasy, post-apocalyptic, you've got all of those options on it. The core rulebook has 15 character classes and when you generate your characters, you start at level 5, you have to pick two character classes so you can't be just like a straight champion or a straight gladiator or whatever you choose to be. 15 in there, 4 more in there, there's four more in the playtest that they've put out and there's been a couple of extras. There's a lot of combinations, a lot of combinations, a lot of customization. But it's not crunchy. It's not like crazy granular. It's very easy to play, very easy to pick up. And the core of it, if I have one there, hey, multiple cameras, is stack of polyhedral dice. And specifically, whenever you make a test, you will roll two dice. There are four attributes in the game, might, dexterity, insight, and willpower. And you'll roll two of them based on what it is that you are doing. Um, specific weapons will normally have like specific, or certain weapons will have specific things that you roll. So swords, for example, use dexterity and might. So you'll take your might dice, and your stats are rated from d6 to d8 to d10 and d12 oh, I knew that would happen and d12 so you take the two dice that correspond to your stat uh, and then roll them and then you will have a difficulty number which is usually about 12 for hard things 10s are a little bit easier 7 is very very easy and then you can go up to 15 um, so you want to do something and quite often if you've got a d10 and a d8, roll them, add them together, meet or beat the target number, you succeed in what you're doing. You've got the option of spending your fabula pulp points, hence the name, uh, on triggering bonds to give you re-rolls. So for example, if you are helping somebody else uh, you or somebody else can help you, you kind of activate your bond with that player and then you'll spend your fabula point and then you can add the score of the bond onto it. Oh, the camera light's just gone out. Um, and you add your rating in that particular bond onto the total that you've rolled. 
Uh, techno fear. I, oh, I think he's dying. Never mind. Um, in order to meet or beat, um, hijinks ensue. Very simple. Very very straightforward. Um, so yeah, fabulous Ultima. Plays very very quickly. There is a PDF quick start called Press Start, and if I remember, I'll put the link in the description. And um, it's great. It comes with pre-generated characters. It's a learn by play. It's it's one of the better PDF quick starts that I've come across. Um, one dice for each of the attributes that you're using. Roll them both. Add them together. Meet or beat a difficulty number. Simple as that. Roll well, and I'll see you soon. Oh, <laughs> shit.